age of 60 after hundreds of blows and tear-jerking comebacks. It's been over to it's over. Where's that from? The 80s? It's probably the 70s. Rocky is back for another round. This is going to be the final Rocky Balboa film ever. There's that old saying, never say never. Who would have believed he could have come back when he was six? Many ridiculed Stallone for playing the stuttering Italian once again. Now you're 81. How do you feel? That... <laughs> and have a dinosaur for a house pet. Oh, wow. The box offices in the U.S. said otherwise, and Balboa has already grossed almost $100 million. You never gotta forget this punch in the face. <laughs> He's getting old. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Is he fit? He's very fit. There were times where we literally had to go in there and tell them to stop hitting each other. I think I want to, like, fight. You know, nothing big, small stuff, like locally. What are you trying to prove, Pop? As always in Hollywood, behind every bruised, aging Italian stallion is a smart Jewish producer. My father's a producer, um, a very successful one. I grew up as a child working on his films. <laughs> Bill Charthoff's father produced Raging Bull and the Rocky series. <laughs> And today, his son, who is in Israel, is still in the ring and backing up the production of Rocky Balboa. The first Rocky was such a phenomenon. When my father told me that he was thinking of doing a sequel, I just really begged him not to. You know, just let it be. It's so perfect. But I think today I'm quite happy that they did the sequel. I think well, there's still some stuff in the basement. What basement? In here. Rocky VI follows all the known formulas, which means fights, a comeback to the ring, and running up the famous steps. <laughs> And for whomever it sounds a little too much, just wait. Rambo 4 is coming soon.